Hello, Gemini, and welcome to your February 2015 reading. My name is Nikki. Um, this month, I'm going to do a little a layout that's a little different. I'm going to have a card, one card for each week, and then a positive and a negative aspect card. If you hear some background noise, I really apologize. Um, my kids are up, my baby's up, his sleeping schedule has changed, and he's been he's been not, not sleeping as long so um, I'm gonna try to get filming done anyway <laughs> so here we go first week second week third week fourth positive and negative okay so for the first week of February Gemini you have the two of wands this is all about um, a fork in the road, about making a choice um, on which way to go, which path to take. And the two paths look very similar, but um, and the choice is going to be hard because of that. But you need to take the time to, you know, think things over because down the road in the future, these choices are going to lead to very different consequences. So um, just think over whatever the decision you're trying to make is and try to make the best decision you can. For the second week, Gemini, you have the Two of Cups. This is all about um, partnering, partner, sorry, I can't speak, partnering up with somebody. Um, and this person that is, um, and it could be it could be um, in kind of a work situation. It could be um, in a school situation. It could be anything really. It could be just you know getting together with somebody and sharing your views about something with each other. But uh, this this person is different from you. They're going to bring something to the table that you don't. Um, I'm sure you both have good qualities and bad qualities all the same, but you're different. So uh, this person in this place, I'm going to say, is is good for you. Um, they're going to kind of balance you out, and you're going to balance them out. You're going to bring things to the table that each other wouldn't think of normally. So for the third week, you have the Queen of Cups. Okay, the Queen of Cups is um, is probably somebody who is a water sign. This could be Cancer, this could be Scorpio, and this could be um, a Pisces. Sorry, ah. took, took me a second. Ah. Okay, so ah. I see. Oh. Max, he dropped his apple. Thank you. Okay, sorry. So the Queen of Cups is most likely a water symbol. Again, this is Pisces, um, Cancer, or Scorpio. And um, this person is more likely going to be the type of person who's going to be a, a good person for emotional support. Um, this could be the same person that you're partnering up with um, in the second week, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. But, um, yeah, they're going to be a shoulder for you to cry on or someone just to listen to you. Um, they're going to give you some kind of advice to do with um, matters of the heart. Could be any of those. And it is a feminine energy, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a female. For the fourth week, Gemini, you have... The Page of Wands. Pages are all about new experiences and you're very eager to learn something new and this is this could be a skill for a job or um, perhaps you're studying something in school or thinking about studying something in school. Um, I don't know it could be a plethora of things but it's it has to do with uh, some kind of skill that you're going to learn or pick up or at least you're thinking about picking it up and um, something that you're willing to you know you have some ambition there to get into something 
So that is happening at the end of the month. So for the positive aspect of the month, and this will cover the whole month, you have the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles is about crafting something or building something, creating something that is going to financially uh, benefit you. And it's something that you're proud of. And if you haven't already crafted this, you're thinking about it. And perhaps this is um, this correlates with this new skill in the last week of February. He wants more. Um, because here in the last week you are learning a new skill. And perhaps this new skill will help you with this crafting. Um, and that's probably what it is. But obviously this is a general reading. This isn't going to be exact for every single person who is a Cancer. But you are thinking about developing a new skill and it's going to help you financially. And it's going to be something that you're proud of and that others are going to look at it and be proud of you also. And at the very least, this idea to earn money in this way is going to be in the back of your mind um, for the whole month of February. And the negative aspect for the month, you have the Ten of Wands. Now this is about completing a task. Um, it's about carrying a heavy burden also. You've put something on yourself that is it's a little too much for you, but you are doing it and you're getting through it and you can see that finish line. Just hang in there. Um, it's in the negative aspect, so I'm thinking that you're having a hard time with this burden. It's really plaguing you the whole month. And it could be something physical, it could be a physical task, but I feel that it's probably going to be an emotional type of thing. It's going to, because here in the third week you have the Queen of Cups and she is consoling you most likely about something or helping you, giving you some kind of advice or a shoulder to lean on. Um, so, you know, you have to ask what is that thing that, you know, you need somebody's advice or shoulder for and there's some kind of burden that you're carrying on you. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure what that is, but if, if you guys know, please let me know in the comments. I would be very interested to hear about that. So that is your complete reading for February. If uh, you found this helpful, please give me a thumbs up and sus subscribe if you haven't. I would like to say before I go that um, I appreciate all my new subscribers, and I've had a lot of fun reading the comments and responding to you. So I will talk to you next month. Bye.